Hey, Berkeley community. It's Tori here, your community engagement officer for the city of Berkeley. In light of recent events that have happened around the nation and within our surrounding communities, we understand that solidarity is more important than ever. And with that, I thought that it would be a great opportunity for us to chat with our public safety director and discuss some of the topics regarding George Floyd, how our public safety fits within this, and you know what we're doing here at the city to ensure that we stay strong. Chief, I want you to kick it off with just first talking about, you know, we're a public safety department. You know, we're not a police and fire. Can you kind of explain the, the difference between those two? I sure can, Tori. I'm, I'm actually kind of surprised because uh, it is, this is our job, so this is what we do. Uh, but Berkeley does not have a separate police and fire department. Uh, we're one. Um, a lot of cities have a, a police department that falls under a police chief, a fire department that falls under a fire chief, and usually EMS is under the fire department. Here in Berkeley, we're one department. All of our uh, 30 pu public safety officers are cross-trained. They're police officers, they're firefighters, and they're medical first responders. So no matter what happens in our community, public safety officers respond, um, which is kind of a big, big job. Uh, you know, for basic training, the academy for police officer is 16 weeks. Basic training, the fire academy is 12 weeks. Medical first responder is two weeks. And we have a uh, quite a few of our officers that are, are still licensed paramedics or emergency medical technicians, but we operate as medical first responders. So um, it's, a, it's a big job to, to it's, it's a lot of work to get this job. And then once you get it, there's a lot of ongoing training uh, that we have to stay up on on all three disciplines. Yeah, and, I, and you know, before we get into those specifics, because I think you touched on a, some crucial points, you know, given the calamity of everything that's going on, but you know, you're recent to, Berkeley, you know, not in maybe years, but uh, being the chief. Can you kind of share with us how long have you served as chief uh, for Berkeley? Sure. Um, I'm happy to come home. I actually grew up in Berkeley and Huntington Woods. I graduated from Berkeley High School, school of, from Berkeley High School a few years ago. Um, but I've been here in, in Berkeley. It'll be three years in October. Um, uh, prior to that, I was an assistant chief of the Farming Mills Police Department. I was there for a total of 31 years. Uh, yes, I'm old. <laughs> well, not touching on the old facts, but, you know, more so your experience level and, and, and what you're bringing not only to our community, but what you've learned and experienced, given the fact that you have been in other communities. And, you know, uh, it's, it's no surprise that, you know, Ferndale and, uh, um, excuse me, Farmington Hills uh, is uh, drastically different in terms of diversity and, and scope and size. And, you know, can you share what those experiences were like working in other communities? Sure. Um, well, Farmington Hills is a much more diverse city and uh, a more diverse uh, police department also and fire department for that matter. So that's what I'm kind of used to. Um, the Farmington Hills Police Department in the city of Farmington Hills was very active in community groups. I was part of either on or part of a lot of the community groups, both religious, uh, cultural, race. Uh, so that's what I'm kind of used to. We had relationships with, with the community. We had we had several mosques, we had several synagogues, we had all kinds of different diverse communities. So we were able to, to make those connections. A little bit different, di little bit different here where um, the city isn't, isn't nearly as diverse as Farmington Hills and Also, I, I kind of refer to myself as the anti-police officer sometimes too, because my master's degree is in education. So I went to, I went, my master's program was with all teachers, which kind of gave me another point of view when I honestly didn't have before. And the undergrad is in public administration and community development. So nothing to do with law enforcement, nothing to do with public safety. So I, I, I like the fact that I've been able to gain a lot of experiences both through my education and my work and training. Well, and I, I think it's definitely very crucial to, to know that and for the folks that, uh, that are watching to know that because, you know, I, that sentiment I think is shared uh, with all of your officers and, and, and it's definitely a unique in leadership style. Um, so could you maybe expand on like how you've applied those those experience to Berkeley now that you're here as a chief? Sure, um, this department has some great personnel. I Quite honestly, when I first got here, I thought some of the training uh, could have been improved. So uh, being, being uh, I, I ran a training unit for several years uh, and training is very close to my heart, so is education. So I've really encouraged our officers there's tuition reimbursement, so I've encouraged our, our, encouraged our officers 
to go back and get deg uh, degrees, both, uh, uh, both undergrad and graduate. Um, also, our training budget's gone up about almost 400% uh, since I've been here. So um, again, it's three disciplines, that includes all three, but uh, it is very, very important. Um, you know, we're not in a bubble. We need, we need to look at the big picture so we need, uh, we, we really need to be training all the time. Um, we, another thing we also do is we do critical debriefs after every single major incident, whether it be um, a, lot of, a lot of times it's on the fire side, but also on the law enforcement side to where if something happens, we talk about what could have done, what we could have done different, what we could have done better. And I'm very open. If I make a mistake, you'll know about it. Um, those people that know me, I, if I make a mistake, I'll say it because I want people to learn from it. Um, and I analyze myself quite a bit and I'm pretty hard on myself because uh, I'm, I'm looking and what I, what I tell people is I, we, we're looking for perfection knowing it's pretty much impossible, but our goal is perfection. So that's what we're shooting for all the time.